I've been working on a uh, uh, tweak to the heat, uh, the 3V heat treat for um, optimizing edge stability and rough use, and uh, gotten got pretty good results with it. And so I've just taken all of my test samples and standards uh, back from 20 degrees per side to 18 degrees per side because it was kind of it was actually kind of getting hard to see uh, the edge damage uh, with my standard tests. And so uh, I. I just took them all back to 18, and uh, I haven't tried this yet, but I thought it might be kind of dramatic, so I'm, I'm videotaping this so you guys can see this. Um, the, uh, the the rough use part of this test starts, uh, uh, well, there's, there's, there's a lot more to it than just this nail, but uh, so something that's kind of interesting to watch is the, the, the part with the nail. This is a 16-penny nail, which is 150 thou of uh, work-hardened wire. It's a... Uh, it's it's kind of kind of hard on a on a knife edge, and uh, this is CPM 3V with an industry standard heat treat. Uh, this is a, 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 a just one of my controls. This is Rockwell Hardness 60, but it has the industry standard heat treat. And so uh, you know if I peel little slivers off of the nail, and then if I chop the nail, I usually take two cuts. We'll uh, we'll look and see what happens to the edge. So this is what you kind of normally see with 3V, uh, with the industry standard heat treat. Is you got some, uh, you got some, some, some kind of a smushed up edge, uh, maybe a little bit of microchipping. You can see the edge didn't hold up where I was carving on the uh, on the on the nail. And we have some, you know, some some pretty significant edge damage. As a control, um, I've got a, a, a bussy bushwhacker here in Enfi. Uh, there are some things that 3V does a little better than Enfi, but when it comes to chopping nails, you know that, that kind of rough use, it, it really is the gold standard. And uh, I've never actually tried it on a nail at 18 degrees per side, so this will be the first time I've looked at it. But uh, I expect it's probably going to do pretty well because uh, this is uh, this is one of the things that it uh, it really excels at. What you're probably seeing in the video is what looks like edge damage here. That's not edge damage. That's where the nail has smeared off onto the steel. There is some edge damage under there, but what you're seeing in the video, what you saw was a piece of the iron stuck to the edge, and then you can see some discoloration there. That's just where the, 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 the wire has smeared off on the harder steel of the blade. Alright, so we have a. If you do this at, at 23, 24 degrees per side, there's almost no damage at all. Uh, and when I was running this at 18, there was or at 20, there was very little. Uh, here, I mean, I've got I've got some edge damage I can see at an arm's length, but that was the reason for taking it down so acute, so we could start to see some of that kind of thing. Um, and uh, here's the latest and greatest, my new. Uh, tweaked heat treat for 3V is first time I run it. I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, I've, I've run this at 20 degrees per side and it did pretty well, but uh, I've never I've never run this at at 18. So I'm uh, I'm kind of excited to see what's going to happen here. Got some steel smeared off from the nail. Uh, got a little bit of a, a little bit of an edge roll there. But when you compare the edge damage on the tweaked heat treat to the industry standard, it's just a, a, a let's see if there's a there's just a dramatic difference. And in fact, I think I'm probably starting to get yeah definitely getting right there with the Enfi in fact 
maybe just a little bit better.